Boys, we need to talk. Oh. No, this isn't about a relationship, okay? We need to talk about a video that you may or may not have seen. Now, in this hypothetical video, I would have been winning... 10 to 0. Uh, Bailey Zappi was my quarterback, and all signs pointed to me winning the game. And in this hypothetical video that you may or may not have seen, I might have ran out of bounds, stopped the clock, punted the ball away, and gotten dunked on on a final second absolute nonsense play. Now, since this didn't happen, obviously I have no emotions towards it. And since you guys didn't see that video, we're never, ever, ever ever talking about it again. Now that we're all on the same page, let's get this episode, baby! I literally do not know how to feel after that last episode, but there is one thing that I know, just in case you didn't watch it, I don't want to spoil it for you, it was a crazy episode, so give her a peek. There is one thing you'll notice, and that is my record. Oh, and two. This puts us in a terribly difficult situation. Now, five straight wins would get us a playoff berth, but how bad would it hurt if we got four and then lost, or even three and then lost? So, my goal as the scriptwriter of my own series is to get five straight wins. If I face the God Squad right now today, this season is probably over, and we're literally going into season four. That's how Wheel em Up works. It's when the season gets reset. So if I don't make the playoffs, the season would literally get reset, and we'd be back to square one. But honestly, that's not too far from where we are right now. We're damn near at square one. The only difference between us and square one is Darrell Rivas. Oh, and a power up player. Oh, I showed him to you a little early. Shoot! Our power-up player is Ed Reed. I know we've had a safety before, but number one, this is a free safety, so he's not going to be my user. Number two, I thought it'd be so sick to have Ed Reed and Troy Palomalo in the same squad. I just thought it'd be so fire. So Ed Reed is our power-up player. I'm sorry for not having him earlier. I just moved from Michigan to Arizona. I'm not really asking. We don't care. Here's what I love about this. Number one, this team sucks ass. So having an 86 speed free safety in right now is great. That's so much better than the silvers I had in. And when you gas out this Ed Reed, holy shit, 92 speed, 90 excel. His kick return's 93. I could kick return him if I wanted. He gets crazy block shed, man coverage, zone coverage. His hit power is 91. He could do literally everything. Keep in mind the rules for a power up player, for a power up defensive player. Interceptions, safeties, TFLs, sacks, and touchdowns are each an upgrade. That sounds like a lot, but it's actually pretty hard. If nobody throws the ball Ed Reed's way, he's probably not going to get anything. So I've got to scheme him up as best I can to keep him involved. So that's where we're at. Coming off a very, very mentally difficult hypothetical last game. We've still got our stud Micah Parsons. I'm not going to lie. He hasn't gotten to the quarterback as much as I thought he would. I don't know. I almost want to move him to user. Now, there is one bright spot from last episode, and that's that my defense actually played super good. My defense was amazing. He never scored on us, technically. He got the Hail Mary touchdown and a pick six. So we really did play good defense. So I'm going to try and get my defense back to where it was last episode, at least somewhat, at least a corner one and a corner two. And then on offense, I don't know. I mean, Bailey Zappi did his job. So if I'm stuck with Bailey Zappi again, I honestly would do it. All right, boys, this is Tito's Revenge Tour, and I'm 0-2. So I'm not honoring my boy Tito. I hope you see this when you get out, buddy. <laughs> team Affinity Team Leo. Oh, shit. So the team affinities was the 89 overalls or 87 overalls. So these aren't crazy. I was thinking it was team diamonds, but it isn't. Still though, there are some good options. There's eight total teams that have the 89 overall. So hopefully, oh, Cowboys, 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 Vanderush, Vanderush, let's go. That is one of the eight teams who has an 89. My linebacker core is Cowboys now. Leighton Vanderush, Micah Parsons. That's kind of dope. Of course. There's none on the auction house, and he's a bid Whoa! only. You know what? Actually, fine. I'll actually bid on him, and we'll go into our next wheel spins. All right. Hey, we are starting out with the 89 overall middle linebacker. We'll look at his stats when I actually get him on the squad, but for now, we'll spin two. It's so Holy shit, there's so many options. Dude, I thought, ooh, that just squeaked its way to Team of the Week jackpot. All right, any single Team of the Week player in the game. I know exactly who I'm going for. I'm going for my Yak Merchant. My PPR Merchant. Alvin Kamara. Oh, this just got posted. This is like egregiously overpriced, but I don't give a shit. Alvin Kamara. I assume he gets running back apprentice or backfield master or something. Ooh, if Alvin Kamara can be my halfback for this whole season, I have to win today obviously but holy shit i would love this dude his trucking is bonkers his break tackle his speed is excel the only halfback i'd want more than this is 93 barry and i can't really go 93 barry all right let me see what abilities camara can get it's running back apprentice for one ap and if i can get backfield mismatch make him even better does he get backfield mismatch backfield mismatch for two ap and i don't need anything else on him all right so we've got 92 camara which is gonna be insane 89 vanderesh 
Now I need a corner or a quarterback. Madden 22 college superstar KO, 25K per touchdown or 100K per rage. Ooh, ooh, this is actually a lot of pressure. Here's what's going down here. I know that looks a little confusing. So Madden 22 superstar KO has the college legends game mode. I get to play one game and I'm either going to get 25,000 coins to spend per touchdown I score or I get 100K flat if I get him to rage quit. Mode campus legends. I'm going Oklahoma because Kyler... Hollywood. Who else do they have? Do they have Adrian Peterson? And of course, if you need coins, make sure to go to instantmaddencoins.com. They sell coins on every single platform. You can also directly buy players or training points. Buying limiteds and then quick selling them is probably the safest route, so I recommend that. This is a significantly better deal than what EA is going to offer you, and you can get 10% off when using the code MMG. That's instantmaddencoins.com. Just use the link in the description. Scary? Scary! Oh my god! Over his head! That's 25k to spend. Good start. There it is. Money! Money! Hollywood! Let's go! Peter! Sorry, Kyler. Not this time, buddy. You quit now? All right, well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the 25K from each touchdown plus my rage quit 100K, 150K to spend on one player. And we got Van Der Esch, what perfect timing. So 150K to spend on one player. This might not come as a shock, but I am gonna go with a corner. So I could get Night Train Lane, Samuel Womack. That's actually really funny because he's one of the silvers I have in. He's like a 68. Dude, this is like the Legends season. I got so many Legends on this squad, but I think Champ Bailey's the move. I mean, he's six foot and 90 speed. He's definitely the move. Champ Bailey is our pickup here for 130,000 coins. 90 overall corner. So we got Darrell Rivas, Champ Bailey, Palomalu, Ed Reed, Nigerian Nightmare. It's it's a Legends. It's a Legends run right now. All right, boys, we're a 77 overall. I do want to take a look at Leighton Van Der Esch. I didn't get to see his stats. 84 speed, 89 excel, 6 foot 4. He's a little slow, but he's a, he's a true, he's going to be a true tackling linebacker. 90 tackle, 88 block shed, 83 hit power, zone coverage. All right, actually. All right, boys. Champ Bailey, Leighton Van Der Esch, and 92 overall. Alvin Kamara on the line. And really my pride and ego, because if I go on three, I'm going to cry myself to sleep. All that's left, of course, is the challenge wheel. Let's hop into this game, boys. Wow, do I need a win. Let's see what we got, baby. Dude, that's so annoying. I had that last episode. I swear I had that last episode. Top three? Nice. Hey, let's all clap it up for EA. In my super important quintessential game, this is what we're gonna get. Tebow, Plaxico, Saquon. I'm intrigued. Oh! Tyson Anderson! Good hard cut! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Let's go, boys. No time to think, no thoughts. 88% completion. All right, let's just do simple passes. Yes, Camara. simple pass. Hard cut. Ooh! And I'm still on Raven's playbook, by the way, so this will be funny. All right, Camara to the edge. Break it. Wait a second. I can go Camara angle route. Wait for it. Wait for it. Right there. Right there, Camara. Ooh, not torch. Not very efficient offense to start off with, but that's okay. Halfback? Halfback. He no. wants to go halfback. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, he does hand it off. Shit. Palomalu. Ugh. Ed Reed's up high here. All right, let's go, Ed Reed. Hand off, hand off, hand off. No, it's a pass. All right, we're going to lurk him. We're going to lurk Burris. Oh! Rebus Island! Get up! Oh my god! Oh my god, he got up! Don't, don't, don't tell me he's gonna rage quit. Game! <laughs> Tyson Anderson! And oh my god, I completed my challenge! I gotta win! But that was kind of a poverty win. I'm not even gonna lie, dude. That was a Mickey Mouse win, but I do not care. I am taking it to the bank. And I was two for two, which is 100% completion last time I checked. I get one pack from the store. I'm gonna go win an Elite Legends pack. Holy shit, this just happened. Oh my god, let's go. Don't worry, I'm gonna play another game. Emmanuel Agba, Michael Strahan. I love that. That's huge right now. Legit, that's huge too. That's corner three and... Jeremy Shockey. So, Michael Strahan, and I think he has no outsiders. That's actually pretty damn solid. Then Emmanuel Agba, and then Legereus Sneed for Tariq Castro Fields. Now, all I really need is a backup strong safety for Tyson Anderson, and we're in business. That was a clutch one. Holy shit. Darrell Revis with the diving INT. Alvin Kamara played solid, too. All right, well, we haven't had this happen in a wheel of mutt in a long time, but I've always said if there's a rage quit super early on, I'm going to give myself one wheel spin and then go into the next 
last game. Micah Remus Camara. It's nice to see Camara up there. All right, listen, I got Bailey Zappi at QB. Don't make this hard for me. Let's get a let's get a good, easy, simple challenge in here. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, what was that? Ooh, ooh, I love that ability. Or ability, I love that challenge. Oh shit, shit. Dude, he's got the Walter Payton. All right, I'm gonna go on Ed Reed. I love these new unis I got though. Oh, it's a read option. Okay. TFL? Oh! Good hit. It was almost a TFL Ed Reed, but he got a yard. I knew that was coming, and I still couldn't stop it. Darn. I'm going to get a pick six with this, 100%. Ed Reed! Almost a TFL once again. Did not get it. Damn, he's got Walter Payton and Shady McCoy. RPO read flat wheel. Congrats. I mean, you got you found a cheese play, but you're going to get boxed. Let's see what 19 runs. Come on, do it. Do it. Ooh, nice defense. <laughs> nice throw. I thought I thought he was going to go back to the under again. Could be a run play. If it's a run play, I might actually be in trouble. Damn. That is really, really cheesy. But it, it did score for him, so what can I say? So you can just kind of highball a bunch of random things. And he's onside kicking. What a fucking loser. RPO read flat wheel and onside kicks. That's what we're doing today. All right, Camaro. Oh my God, Camaro's got fucking daylight. Play one. Great blocks downfield. Camaro's home. Play one. Let's get it. Yeah, I'm no longer on Raven's playbook. So I have stretch again. So I can beat these fucking blitz cheesers. Going for two. He did the same thing. I'm going right up the middle. Right behind Okoye. Beauty. Fucking flattened his user. Eight to eight. Great start, boys. Great start. All right, let's see if we can figure out how to stop this cheese play because it is killing me right now. That is just a pitch option, and Micah Parsons got that one bottled up, so that's a good start. I got to get Ed Reed an upgrade, too. Let's see if he makes a bad pass. That is a good pass, not a bad pass. The corner route, I think. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> He's making mistakes. He's making mistakes. Let's go. Play. Oh, not play action. Just a run play. Well, that is fine because that's 39. Let's go. <laughs> Your cheese play glitched out. I'm so sorry. Oh, you are such a piece of shit. You lucky motherfucker. What kind of catch is that? On fourth down. Okay, goes to the middle again. All right, third and four. He can still hand the ball off, too. Oh, that's so dumb. Fucking coded this game, man. There's no way this play is supposed to work like this. Beautiful. We got a stop on it. I don't. Even, I really don't know how we did. We happened to get a stop there. Well, if we can get the win here, it's going to feel a hell of a lot better. I'll tell you that. Did I, I, He started... Oh, my God. What a return from a Koye. My air truck kind of slowed me down, but out to the 42. I think I get ball at half. If I just score here, then get the ball at half, I'll be all right. And he just ran RPO read flat wheel. Oh my fucking God, dude. <laughs> I don't I didn't want to score that quick. Dude, is he like purposely running shit defense? At least burn his timeouts because he's not moving far down the field each play. He's just kind of just getting poverty yards. Yeah, I'm not letting Bailey Zappi touch the ball. Oh my god, Kamara. Great job. A. Beauty! <laughs> what a throw. Uh. Honestly, that might even be okay. At least I have three timeouts and an opportunity to score. <laughs> you deserve everything, bro. Dude, I'm in man coverage. Like, why? What's happening? I'm in man coverage. Why is my man who's manned up on him not going to cover him? I've literally seen this play before on, like, some YouTube tutorial on how it's a glitch play or some shit. I, I don't know. Get fucked, idiot. Actually get fucked, idiot. Actually get fucked, idiot. God, that felt so good. Dude, if we get this, this will be big clutch. I'm gonna try and stretch this to the left. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Boom! And jack! <laughs> and ball I have. Let me show you the defense I'm in. I'm in a cover four. I'm gonna put Strahan and Parsons. Oh, is he quitting? This will feel so good if he quits. I'd love to see it. Maybe not. I think he's still in it. No, fuck that bitch. Fuck that bitch.
Maybe find a new play IDK though. We move to two and two. Unable to complete my challenge, but oh my god, I didn't even remember my dude. There's so many things. I didn't get my rage quit spin from either game. I had two rage quits. I haven't gotten my spin from either. All right, rage quit wheel. We actually get two. I forgot to do it on the first game. I can't believe I forgot to do it on the first game, but things are happening fast. Pack a punch, 16 plus gold players. Oh my god, there is so much to do. We open this right here. We can pack a bunch one out of the 16. Team players are about to get. So Mike McGlinchey. Yep, that's all he's got. So Mike McGlinchey's probably not our guy. Mike Kosicki. Mike Kosicki has a 90 overall. Holy shit. What a bull. So Mike Kosicki, 90 overall, is our front runner. Tim Harris. I don't think he has anything. Indian Green has an 84 overall left guard. Although I'd want Mike Kosicki over that first. Jihad Ward. Ezekiel Turner. I don't think he's got anything. Ryan Neal. Nothing. Tanner Vallejo. Nope. I got a lot of Cardinals golds though. Uh, oh my god. I'm only getting getting Cardinals players. Trace McSorley. Who remembers that fucking meme, man? Oh my god. John Kelly. That Mike Gesicki pull might have clutched up because I'm not getting much right now. Ultimate kickoff. Greg Dulcich, your ass. Patrick Jones. Shaquille Quarterman. I feel like he actually does have a card. No, he doesn't. Never mind. It was a prank. I was just pranking you. And, ooh, a little headliners. Al Woods. Al Woods does not. Ryan, dude, I clutched up with Mike Gesicki because the rest of these are useless. And the final one. Kylan... Mike Kosicki it is. Well, before I go get Mike Kosicki, I get two packs per one touchdown. I had three touchdowns in that game, so I get six total packs. I'm gonna spread these out. I'm gonna do two All Madden Elite packs, two AKA packs, two Elite Legends packs. Should be a blast. Everything is good for the most part. Everything is good. Oh my God. Oh my God, I just pulled a full. <laughs> Let's go. And Shelby Harris, what the fuck? I pulled my tan on the first one. Dude, that's huge. No more Bailey Zappi, thank God. Oh my, thank God. I really am building a legend squad here. Lawrence Taylor, 82. He'll be decent in relief. Josh Jacobs, 82. And... 82 all start again. So my AKA is kind of dumb because I'm not going to get any O-line here. So I might actually just go only one AKA pack. Let's just go one. I got three left. We'll go Elite Legends. William Perry, we get a D-tackle. Get another D-tackle. A tight end and a left tackle. All right, so I do have a left tackle, I guess. Most feared Elite pack might be the move because they have so many offensive linemen. I'm doing three most feared Elite packs. This is actually the move. They have so many O-linemen. Derek Stingley, great start. I'm fine with that. He's a stud. Jalen Johnson, also, that's actually great. They'll take out, they'll take out Tyson. And Anderson. I didn't get O line, but those are two studs right there. Jacoby Brissett. All right, so this is pack number five right here. This is pack five. I need O line. I need O line. I got a left tackle right now. Give me left guard, right guard. Mercedes Lewis. Mitch Morse. Like, that wasn't even the most feared. Trey Green. Wow. Okay, team of the week, Emmanuel Mosley. Okay. One more, baby. Dude, there's like Kenyon Green, Quinn Miners, Garrett Bowles. There's so many O linemen in this promo. I got to get one. Chase Claypool. Dude, that McCall Hardman's actually nasty. He's so fast. He's 88 speed. That's actually a good pull. And I get 87 Juju. And our final player is... Oh, a dupe. That's okay, dude. Lots of studs. Lots of studs. Unfortunately, Ed Reed has not been so lucky. We didn't get any upgrades for him yet. And we need six upgrades to get him up to a 92. Normally, I'd give upgrades for Rage Quits too. But I'm still on the fence about that. All right, boys. You're going to see a brand new squad on the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.